Hey guys, it's Jeff from Pressure Luck. So today I'm going to make one of my favorite things in the entire world in the Instant Pot. Uh, like I said, when it comes down to the cooler months, I was going to be making a lot of soup, and today's no exception. Now, the kind of soup I'm going to make today is a soup that my friend April is the queen of. She knows this soup, and she goes to run in search of this soup to make sure that one is better than the other. And this is a soup they serve in Chinese restaurants, and it's not wonton soup or egg drop soup, so by default, this is a soup that's a little bit hot and a little bit sour. We're gonna make hot and sour soup in the Instant Pot, and I gotta do April proud for this one, so I'm gonna have to make the best hot and sour soup you've ever had. The best part about this recipe is that the Instant Pot's almost like a witch's cauldron. You're just gonna toss in practically every ingredient and then just cook it, and it's really the easiest thing ever. And then at the end, we'll just add in some a few little extras. So simple. All right, so I, April, I gotta do you proud. Let's just stop my talking. Let's get right to the Instant Pot and make the best hot and sour our soup ever. So this is really the only prep of this dish is just cutting up some scallions. I'm gonna take about, you know, a bunch of them. Like this is like five in here, that's fine. And I'm gonna just chop them up into little slices. So they look like this afterwards. So now to the Instant Pot, and I'm telling you right now, this is truly just dump everything in there and go. I'm gonna add eight cups of a vegetable broth. One tablespoon of canola oil. Three tablespoons of rice vinegar. One tablespoon of red wine vinegar a quarter of a cup of reduced sodium soy sauce, two teaspoons of a chili garlic sauce, which looks like sriracha, basically, one and a half teaspoons of sugar, two teaspoons of ground ginger, one teaspoon of white pepper. I really suggest using white pepper for this, guys. One teaspoon of sesame oil, one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt. Now I'm gonna add our chopped scallions two eight ounce cans of bamboo shoots that I'm gonna drain. Now you can just use one can if you want, but I really like bamboo shoots, so I'm gonna put two cans in there. Drained and added to the Instant Pot. I'm gonna add two eight ounce packages of Baby Bello or Crimini mushrooms, and I'm gonna use two of them, 16 ounces total. You can use one if you want, but I really like mushrooms in my soup. And let's add those in. You can use shiitake too, by the way. And now give that all a good stir. All right, now we have one more ingredient to put in. We're going to add one eight ounce bag of spinach. Put that in there. It's gonna feel like a lot, but it's gonna cook down significantly. Look at that, right to the brim. But not to worry, we're just gonna stir that uh, spinach up with everything else. Make sure everything's nice and mixed together. And really get down in there and just push and mix everything up until our spinach leaves are kind of submerged and have gone down about, I don't know, about a few inches in depth. And now we're going to put our lid on and we're going to cook. Make sure we're in ceiling position. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to now hit manual and I'm just going to go up for five minutes. That's it. Five minutes. So while the soup is cooking, I'm going to take two eggs and crack them in a bowl and whisk them together until they're all nice and beaten. Great, set that aside. We're also going to make a pretty generous cornstarch slurry this time. So I'm taking a quarter of a cup of cornstarch and a quarter of a cup of water. And I'm going to mix it together so it goes from this like cementy like texture to a nice and smooth one. Alright, let's also set that inside until our soup is done cooking. I'm also going to take some firm tofu or you can use extra firm tofu. Don't go below that, you don't, you don't want soft or anything like that, you want firm or extra firm. And um, they usually sell them in 14 ounce bricks or so, and I'm going to use 8 ounces. So I'm going to use about a little bit more than half of this and I'm going to dice it up until we have nice coarse pieces like this. Now I'm adding this in because I want some protein in there and a tofu makes a really, really good hot and sour soup. But if you want some chicken or some pork or something like that in there as well, you can take some shredded chicken and add it in at the end, or you can cook it with it or vice versa, whatever. Um, I could link to you how to do that in the recipe under the tip section. And we just finished, so we're gonna do a quick release. Pin drop, so the lid comes off. Excellent, so let's stir it up. So let's give our delicious, beautiful soup all a stir. You see how the spinach is basically cooked into nothing and just goes right inside of the soup. Perfect. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the temperature up to high. Let's come down here and hit keep warm cancel, then let's hit saute, so on the more setting, and then let's bring our soup into a little bit of a bubble. And just as it begins to bubble, let's add our cornstarch slurry and then give everything a nice stir. And then after about two minutes, you see that nice bubble we have going on? We're gonna turn the heat to keep warm go keep warm cancel and then just hit the keep warm function doesn't matter what the time says now I'm gonna add in my tofu and my egg 
and I'm gonna quickly give everything a stir. And you see how the egg is now forming all these strands in the soup. Look at that, it's literally magic right before your very eyes. We're just gonna do this for about another minute and then we're gonna serve it up, guys. That's it. I mean, would you eat this soup so far? Tell me, would you eat this soup? I need to know. We're all in for a real, real good treat. And the best part, this is not a bad soup for you at all. All right, we're all ready to serve. And there we go, looking great. And let's put some of that in a bowl. Yeah. And there we go. Is that a thing of beauty? All right. It smells so insanely good. I cannot wait to try this out. So let's do it right away. Okay, here we go. Let's get a nice spoonful in there. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Oh, April, I did it. I mean, look at how big that mushroom is. I'm gonna get all verklempt. Mm. It is the perfect hot and sour soup, and it's completely vegetarian. I mean, that depends if you count eggs uh, in, as a vegetarian. If not, you can leave the eggs out. Um, vegetable broth, you would never know that it's not beef broth or chicken broth. It, the vegetable broth is amazing as the base. And the bamboo shoots, and the tofu, and the mushrooms, and the spinach, and the way everything comes together, it's, just, it's it, a match made in heaven. The flavors are just everywhere in your mouth. There's that sourness to it from the vinegar, and then there's that heat in there from the white pepper, which is a key ingredient, the white pepper, and some of that um, garlic ch uh, chili sauce. It's, a, it's just basically sriracha. I mean, there is just the marriage between the garlic chili sauce and the vinegars. It just does something to the soup where I swear it, it's just magic in your mouth. It's on another level. So I'm telling you right now, go to any Chinese restaurant and order hot and sour soup and you're gonna be disappointed moving forward. And I know that's a very bold thing to say. This is absolutely on another level. For more recipes, for more videos, seeing things that are really easy to follow along to with pictures step by step and everything in there, go to pressurelockcooking.com. Huge amounts of recipes, more just coming. Pin any recipe you want to any Pinterest board by hovering over a photo and hitting the little save button that appears. I have Facebook, go to facebook.com slash pressureluckcooking. I have tons of content there, I do live videos, I have pictures, I share tips. Go to my YouTube, Pressure Luck, subscribe, like me on Instagram, follow me there. Oh, I, have all the, I have all of them. Thank you so much, uh, guys. It's one of my opuses. Now this soup is like my pride and joy. Mm.